Hello everyone and uh, welcome to our demo session implementing frequency hopping on Xilinx RFSOC uh, devices using SOC block set. I am Banu Madasani, Dev Manager at MathWorks. In the next few minutes, I will cover a brief overview of the demo, its application areas, followed by a quick run through of the demo. Frequency hopping spread spectrum techniques have been widely adopted in space, avionics, military, and civilian applications. They have been instrumental in protecting against jamming and interference, especially in the C4I applications area to enable secure communications for mission critical environments. Some of the problems uh, we are trying to solve here are uh, like designing frequency hopping based applications require deep knowledge of the underlying hardware capability. The integration and testing of such applications are time consuming. Uh, the solution is uh, the demo showcases how you can seamlessly integrate and test frequency hopping in your applications uh, targeted for RF sub devices. And the key takeaways of uh, this demo session are uh, SOC Blockset provides support for uh, frequency hopping on RF sub devices uh, through the RFDC block. Uh, through SOC Blockset, you can validate the frequency hopping functionality of your system in a simulation before actual deployment on hardware and uh, this example can be used as a reference uh, for kickstarting designs uh, of frequency hopping based applications the application areas uh, for this example are electronic warfare military communications and uh, wireless communications and uh, the related industries are aerospace defense and ces the products uh, used in this example are SOC Blockset, HDL Coder, and the Embedded Coder. This is the high level block diagram of how traditional frequency hopping is accomplished. Here, the processor runs the hopping algorithm and generates the hop code for each uh, hop interval. This hop code is uh, then mapped to an appropriate frequency output of the synthesizer. The processor configures the synthesizer at an appropriate time in a slot to generate the yellow frequency for uh, modulating and transmitting the data. A similar process is followed in the receive path to synthesize the known frequency to down convert and demodulate and decode the data. This support is enabled in RFSOC devices uh, through the real time ports. There are a set of registers and uh, status lines available to configure the NCO frequency. Uh, these ports uh, can be configured in real time directly from PL when compared to the software configuration uh, through RF tool uh, from the PS. This level of tight coupling enables uh, users to achieve high hopping rates when compared to traditional mechanisms. <coughs> SOC Blockset provides RF data converter block as part of its library. This block supports modeling, simulation of data path, and generation support for uh, multi-tile sync, real-time ports for NCO and AGC control for all generations of RFSOC devices. The real-time ports for uh, both ADCs and DACs are available in the advanced tab of the RFDC block. There is also a test bench block uh, which can simulate the behavior of uh, the DAC path. Using this block, the output spectrum of the transmit path can be visualized in simulation. The slide depicts the high level architecture of a typical FH system. The frequency hopping DUT sits in FPGA and consists of a frequency hopping controller, transmitter, and receiver subsystems. The hopping controller can be configured for hop frequency, range, and step. It also provides the hop signals like frequency and timing information to the transmitter and uh, receiver subsystems. The transmit subsystem consists of a transmit algorithm, which is a tone generator whose output samples are fed to the RFDC block through the FHTX uh, interface. Similarly, in the receive path, the samples from the RF uh, data converter are received through the FHRX interface and uh, fed to the receiver algorithm. The processor algorithm reads and processes uh, the data and output sent to host. In this model, the loopback data uh, or the tone samples are sent to host for visualization. Here we can see the final integrated top model for the frequency hopping application. The top model consists of the processor, FPGA subsystems, 
memory interconnect and the RFTC block. There is also a test bench block uh, which can simulate the behavior of uh, the DAC path and help in uh, visualizing the output spectrum of the transmit path. The FPGA model consists of the frequency hopping DUT. The DUT consists of a frequency hopping controller, transmitter and the receiver subsystems. The hopping controller can be configured for hop frequency, range and step. It also provides a hop signals like frequency and timing to the transmitter and receiver subsystems. The processor model consists of a data read task used to read the output of the FPGA algorithm. This data is then passed to the spectrum scope through the external mode interface for visualization. Now we can simulate the top model and visualize the signals at a system level and verify the functionality. Here we can observe the frequency hopping happening in the simulation mode at the output of the DAC as per the configured hop rate and hop step frequency. We can also monitor the spectrum scope on the processor output to confirm that the receiver is also hopping and is in sync with the transmitter. Using SOC Builder, you can generate the bitstream and the software executable for the model to run in external or deployment mode. Alternately, you can use the pre-built bits files and the software executable which are provided as part of the example to run in external mode. Once deployed on hardware, you can monitor uh, the receiver tone on the spectrum scope in the processor model. As you can see, the output is a stable 1 MHz tone, indicating that both transmitter and receiver are hopping at uh, the same frequency and are in time sync.